Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to cover an essential tool for every JavaScript developer that is ESLint. If you have never used ESLint before, don't worry. This video is for complete beginners. We will go step by step and by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to set up ESLint in your project to make your code cleaner and more professional. So, why do we need ESLint? Well, we write JavaScript code. It's easy to make a small mistake like missing the semicolon and uh, unused variables and not proper indentations. So, which can make your code harder to read and even leads to bugs. So, ESLint helps to automatically catch these issues and enforces consistent coding standards. So, it will find like issues fix problem automatically and configure everything. So let's get started. Now open your terminal and inside it type cd desktop. After that we have to make the project. So type mkdir and eslint demo. The name of the project is eslint demo. Now we have to go inside this project so type cd eslint demo now we need to create the package.json file so we have to type the command npm in it hyphen y now your package.json file is created with the name you have created and with the version so let's jump into editor so type command code dot it will open the editor like we are using Visual Studio code here. Now you see we have the package.json here and we'll, we will install the ESLint which will source here in the dependencies. So let's open the terminal here inside this Visual Studio code and now type npm install ESLint hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev and press enter so it's installed here we use npm to install eslint so the hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev flag means that eslint is a development dependency which means it's only needed during development and not when your app is running in production so if you see in package.json we have installed it in dev dependencies because we want it into development so let's now for the configuration purpose we have to create a configuration file so type the command in terminal npx eslint hyphen hyphen in it. Now you will be asked some question to customize your eslint setup. So let's walk through it. Now the first question is how would you like to use eslint? So here we get the two options to check syntax only or to check syntax in fine problems. So we want it for both. So select the second one. And then the question is what type of modules does your project use? So here we are using import and export JavaScript module. So select that. Next is asking about which framework does your project use? So here for now we are not using any framework. So we select none of these. The next question is does your project use typescript if you are using then yes not using then no now the next question is where does your code run so our code will run in node so we select node now after that it's asking about would you like to install them yes from because here we are using npm for install so select npm and it successfully set up the configuration file you can watch it here the eslint config.config.mgs file is created now so now in this configuration file you will see that it's import the globals for the global environment variables for the configuration of like globals uh, where our code will run browser or node here we chooses the node so we will write a node here 
and the next uh, the plugin imported here is plugin js from eslint so this plugin will help us to configure our settings so that what we want to use so now export default is like this will export all these configurations to where we want in our project now you will see language options so language options is basically for environment variables for the like browser or node whatever we are using now this line you will see plugin js.config.recommended it means it recommends us to use the upcoming features of ESLint like uh, the proper structure and guidelines provided by the ESLint so let's start configure this project by setting up the rules we want so let's start typing our rules first we want to check that if we get the variable name and it's not used in a project then it should warn us so for that the plugin is no unused vars and inside that we want a word okay after that we will create the second rule which will be quotes like we want single quotes so if there were not single quotes it will warn us so we want single quotes and uh, one more we want is semicolon so it will be written as semi and it will warn us uh, we want it always that whenever there is no semicolon warn us now save it and uh, we will now check in the code so create a index.js file here and inside this file write a code const named okay uh, write the integer value 10 and then function we are just writing our function to test eslint like a greet function and we are passing the name as an argument and inside this function we are creating a console log okay and inside the console log we are passing the message hello hello and we are concatenating it with name so you see here we use the named but uh, here we just use name variable so it's different from it now you will see how ESLint will check it and now we are calling the function by sending the name as John and you will also see that here we are using double quotes but in our configuration we want single quotes so let's see how it works now we want to install a extension for it which comes with type ESLint and here you will watch it like this so install this and this will help us to check our code now when we open the terminal and it's started showing the issues you will watch here and if we type the command that npx is linked index.js and then it will show all the error warnings which we had set it up like it says here named is assigned a value but never used so you see named is assigned a value but we didn't use named in our code so that error occurs because we configure here this error okay and you see here is also pointing because here the double quotes used so you will see the next is string must use single code because we are using here double quotes and again in configuration we want single quotes and here also it's double quotes and the third is missing semicolon we are missing semicolon here we are missing semicolon here so that's all warning we get from it 
so for fixing it we can automatically type the command npx eslint index.js hyphen hyphen fix so this fixes our error see this fixes our error but it's left some error for manually setting it up so if you see if i change it from like that and save it actually we are not using name here so just remove it and if you see in the problem section it shows some errors in this file so let's go and see the string must use single quote so let's correct this file too remove the double strings and put it inside single string and that's error gone second is also same issue because what we configure we need to set up that and you see all the problems were gone so this is the way we can configure ESLint according to us so now that we have covered the basics so let's dive into some more advanced configurations that helps you fine-tune ESLint to match your coding styles so let's extend our configuration to add stricter rules like uh, here we can add eq 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 which is about strictly equal to so let me explain this inside here we want error and we want it always so here what we are want to telling is that if you see here it requires strict equal to you know that this is the strict equal to sign but whenever a person uses double equal to it cause the errors so that's the rule we can use here and the next we are going to use is no console like we have to comma here no console okay and inside that we will set it up warn so it will warn us when we use any console log means that when we use any console log because we are not using console log for production when we have to push our code in production we don't need console log in our code because console log is only for used for debugging purpose so we need to remove all the console log for that we are checking if there are any console log in our code just warn us and the next is we want indent we want indentation that the space in the code which format our code so here we want like it will give error and we want here two indentation two species indentations and the last two configuration we want is that no var you know that we use let and const for variable declaration but if in our code there is a var declaration then it will fall it will show the error so put here the error so it will disallow var and encourage us to use let and const so save it and now come inside the index.js file now you will see it already focuses this that this is the error because here we see a console log okay so let's write some more code and understand all the configuration properly so we are going to type where greeting is equal to hi okay and we miss the semicolon then after that i will type if you will see it shows errors here in the problem you can watch here all the errors and we have write if condition and i will type if greeting is double equal to and i i need to use here is strict equal to because i want high here so if it's and you know that it's already strictly equals to that but i am using only double equal to 
so it also enforce error here because we in the configuration want a strict because it they can see it's also create the problem about indentation because it don't have two spaces indentations so because we downloaded this eslint extension and it's automatically fetch out the errors here and inside this we have to type console.log and console i will send the greeting and now let me put here semicolon now it will throw an error because we used var here instead of latent const and our configuration we want where it is here we want nowhere so that causing the error and it's warning giving warning warning is given by the yellow color and the error is given by the red color so you will see it warn us about the console log which we uses in our code and it also enforce strict equality instead of double equality or less equality so you see it also enforces here the indentation issues you will see how much errors we are getting about this it asking expected indentation of six spaces but found two you see how much errors we getting here so let's correct all the errors one by one or first we type the command for fixing the error which is we can we can also go inside the package.json file and we can write the script for it so let's write lint and here we will type es lint dot and now when we are in terminal we just need to type npm run lint and this will show all the errors so to fix this error we can type npm run lint hyphen hyphen fix now it will try to fix some errors but some will always remain because that need to be manually removed like here console log we need to remove it okay and uh, the next is this console log also we need to remove it okay this there is no need of brackets here and if you see we have still var greeting we need to check the strict equal to and we need to change it to let and put the semicolon here so it's almost corrected let's configure this file also it's have a lot indentation so take it and uh, press the button control tab no i'll press the button tab so it's getting the spaces which it wants okay now you will see inside the problem section all the spaces all the pro all the errors are removed so in this video we have covered a lot you have learned how to set up eslint configure it with different rules use plugins and even apply it to multiple environments like browsers and node so eslint is a powerful tool that will save you from countless headaches in the future and now you know how to harness its full potential so thanks for watching